Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, bringing you guys some more Boku no Hero Academia Smash Tap here on the channel, or My Hero Academia Smash Tap here on the channel. And today, 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 I'm going to be going through more story for you guys because we actually got some new story here. And this is essentially them training for the sports festival after the USJ event, uh, just like this one over here when this new story came out. So I'm glad that they're actually still progressing with the story uh, when it comes to this game. I'm really glad that we're getting more story and we have more chances to get uh, uh hero souls and things like that and i'm just gonna go through it i'm gonna go through it on easy because i think there's an easy one yeah we're gonna go through it on easy and then we're gonna go through it on hard because i think they're yeah or normal not easy normal and hard because there are two different modes and uh whatnot but i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys do hit that like button down below to show your support here on the channel i don't e wait do i even have enough stamina to do it on uh, normal and hard I have no idea we'll see what happens but anyways let's go ahead and let's just run through this uh, solo uh, doesn't really even matter uh, fun fact though if you guys didn't know I opened up a I made a second account on my computer because as you guys know I record this on my phone so I made a second account on my computer uh, with my Android emulator and I yo dude I managed to pull uh, okay I re-rolled I managed to pull the new Todoroki if you guys didn't know there's a new dual Todoroki right here you guys for smash fest banner um it's about it's gonna be up like by time this video goes up it'll be over but you know it's a pretty pretty nice Todoroki I think he's like the highest rank I think he's like the best uh uh, the best six star out there not only that but if we actually go over to the announcements there is an announcement for first of all uh, ultra awakening so we can awaken further which is pretty freaking scary I don't know what this is gonna include maybe there'll be an update this week about it I don't know but ultra awakening that's gonna be crazy and then uh, EX stages are gonna get even harder now and the thing is like they I mean they have to do this because they're creating ridiculously busted units as well so because they're creating stupid busted units they're gonna have to make these missions or these EX events a little bit more difficult because you can just run through them with uh, Todoroki full cow Deku Bakugo etc etc you can just run through them very very easily and clearly they don't want that so uh who should i even use in this case i should probably i'm gonna use i'm gonna use aizawa and grand torino and let's just see how it goes but yeah there's, a, there's gonna be a new difficulty uh there's gonna be a new difficulty when it comes to the ex stages and then there's gonna be a new awakening as well so busted units are gonna be even more busted now we have no information as to how these ultra awakenings work um but you know i mean once we have a once we have an idea how they work i'll probably try to awaken one of my characters if i can or ultra awaken one of my characters if i'm able to um also gonna cut down this sound here because the volume is loud and we're fighting the we're fighting the ones that tend to shoot a bunch of pellets and i hate when they shoot a bunch of pellets but yeah this is just but yeah this part of the story is just in between um, in between the USJ event and the sports festival when they're training for the sports festival and it, it's really funny though because like how are they gonna handle the sports festival when they get there or are they gonna skip it because we've already done four so we have we've had four sports fests so far four so I don't know how they're gonna cover it in story mode when it's been when they've been nothing but events you know and like the stain event and stuff like that and I don't know but then again though I think they had the no move event in the story as well as long along with shigaraki or not necessarily the event but like the characters you fought them in the story mode but they weren't nearly as hard as their ex event though so i don't know they'll probably put stain back in there but he won't be as hard as his ex event and his ex event is by far in my opinion the most difficult event because he has rage and can essentially like one shot your character or two shot your character if he really wanted to you know so and you would need like very specific units like Todoroki for example you would need fire Todoroki to like burn him and take down like half his HP or whatever I don't know so so yeah I don't know but uh, or specific gadgets so then you don't take a lot of damage from his hits but I know like for me stain was literally the most difficult event and I could not solo that event ever like I, I couldn't solo that event I I needed help 
and I got help from the Smash Tab Discord. Also, the Smash Tab Discord and the Reddit will be in the video description below. I know a lot of people ask me things like, Jay, uh, how do I do this, 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 and this in the game? And I'm like, check out the Discord, check out the Discord, check out the Reddit. They have, they literally have uh, guides on how to play the game. And then, you know, people also ask me, oh, Jay, when is it coming out for, uh, for global? And I'm like, I have no idea. I just play the game for fun. So I have absolutely no idea when it's coming out. You know, like, I don't know. So whenever the game drops on global, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely, uh, cover it on global as well. And you know, that way, if you guys don't know how to play, then I can show you guys how to play because this game isn't even all that hard to pick up. To be honest, like I can tell you guys right now, this game is not hard to pick up. It's pretty easy, uh, self-explanatory. Honestly, when it comes to units, you really just want to use four star or higher. Maybe, uh, if you get like more, if you get five stars, whatever, then, you know, or six star, uh, units use them because they are definitely, uh, worth way more than than like five star units and stuff like that like the only four star unit you should probably ever use or three star unit technically is the 99 deku that they give you but you gotta you want to make sure you grind them up to 99 or whatever but yo actually let's use wait that was fuzzy wasn't it let's use let's use his let's use his uh his todoroki but but yeah like this game it wasn't even all that hard to pick up i will say that there was a point uh when i played this game and i was like i played it and then i dropped it for like a month or so because it was just like i don't know it was just it was a grind and i was i wasn't feeling the grind but but now i'm you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm feeling the grind though the grind it's not even all that bad it's not even all that hard uh especially when you have 99 luck like once you get 99 luck you're pretty you're pretty set because then you can start grinding out better 99 luck leads uh, funny enough, Midnight is supposed to be the best 99 luckily right now because she has not her AOE uh, stuns and damages. So I, I probably should switch to her. Uh, but at the same time, like my Aizawa is not bad. Aizawa is like second, so he's not. So he's not bad. So, and I think we're fighting Mina now. Yeah, we're, we're yeah we're about to fight Mina because there's poison all over the floor. Yep. There she is, fighting Mina, cause, wait. Oh, it's her and freaking Ochako? Okay. Body them both. Oh, wait. The music didn't even change the boss music. That's weird. So I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna fight Mina, Ochako, and we're gonna fight um, Yuga, or Oyama. So, we're gonna fight all three of them, which, hey, that's fine. That's perfectly fine with me. I'll buy all three of them, let's go. But I just like the fact that there's there's a little bit, just a little bit more story. I wish they would just like update us with a lot more story because I mean, we've gotten through the the exam. Yeah, we've got, we got through the exams. So I'm just ready for them to update us with all of that. But you know, we gotta, we gotta wait for that. It's fine, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, but hopefully this game gets a global release in the next, like, couple of months, maybe, a, it probably will be like a year or so before we get a global release with this game, because I'm pretty sure JP wants to get a little bit ahead before we get a global release, because, because then that way, like, uh, the both games will be, like, on completely different, like, timelines and schedules or whatever, but I also hope that when we do get a global release, uh that um like once we get a global release i hope that the rates for the smash fest banner are a little bit better because rates are complete and total garbage dude i'm telling you like what was it a two percent chance to pull a five star absolutely disgusting absolutely disgusting absolutely disgusting but i mean that's why you re-roll that's why you re-roll when there's a smash fest banner uh, it's always best to start the game when there's a smash fest banner and there's a broken character on the banner because then you can re-roll get that character and just call it a day and re-rolling honestly doesn't i mean okay like re-rolling it takes a little bit of time but there is a way where you can re-roll and you essentially not have to do much at all really 
but you have that but you have to have like Nox or whatever on the computer you know nox you know the android emulator so so you got to have that but but like i don't know i'm just saying when it when there's a smash fest banner it's the best it's the best time to start the game because they give you like free they give you uh 50 free uh souls and then not only that but then you get like an extra like 15 for summoning and stuff like that as well so you can summon up to like 13 times i think i don't even know and i know like when i was re-rolling on my second account for the dual todoroki literally my very last single summon i pulled him and i was like bro that's crazy that is crazy that is crazy but i've seen people get some crazy stuff from their uh from their from their banner pools like I've, i saw someone pull dual todoroki and bakugo and i was like yeah okay you pull two smash fest characters in a in a in a in a multi all right like that's all your luck spent for the entire year and that's crazy that is absolutely ridiculous dude but it is what it is anyways let's go let's go boss time yep we got oyama or aryoma whatever Yep. Okay. So we're only fighting Mina. So we're not fighting. We're not fighting Ochako as well. That's fine. I'm surprised he's in his. They're in their regular outfits. I thought they were supposed to be in their like, uh, UA outfit. Oh wait. Did she just boost her attack? Oh my gosh. Or did she get probably got an attack boost off the ground? Ah, there we go. Easy. Easy. Not even bad. Let's see if, uh, let's see how much else is there to do. I think we got to do it on hard now. And when it comes to hard, it takes a little bit more stamina. So I might restore. I think I have Tayaki's actually. I think I picked up some Tayaki so I can actually do the normal and the hard one as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Or do I really want to do that? Let's see. Oh yeah, I picked up some Tayakis. Let me see if the hard difficulty is uh is nope, that's event. That is event. Normal and yeah, it takes like 16 stamina. Yeah, 16 stamina for both of them. Yeah, I don't really even think I need to I don't even think I need to do that because hard is basically just easy, not easy. It's it's just normal but a little bit harder. So, that's pretty much that. So, that's pretty much the new story, you guys. It's not it's not really much, but hey, it's it's something though. It's it's easy. It's an easy like six extra uh, hero souls because like if you look here, bam, you get hero souls. So it's an, it's an extra sixty or extra six, which isn't bad, you know. So I mean, I'm just glad that we're still getting a little bit more story every now and again. I just hope that we get like some sort of huge update with like a bunch more story so we can play the game the game has a little bit more playability because once you complete the story you're just kind of waiting on events and then when they recycle events there's really nothing to do except grind gummies but then if you don't need to grind gummies like me i don't need to grind gummies right now then there's nothing to do really so you're just kind of there well i guess there is still something to do you can you can grind out like gadgets and stuff because right now i'm working on my gadgets uh i'm working on I'm working on Mina's boots because I managed to pull two Mina Mina's boots for whatever freaking reason. So I'm gonna work on her boots, get them to five star. Cause so far this is the only one that I've actually five starred on my own, and I need to get more uh, All Might figures so I can get like three five star ones, and then I can put them on a character and make them scary. I don't know. I need to do some more gadget summons too. I don't know, but I mean, like I need to do some more gadget summons. But I need to do gadget summons on like a on a really good, ah, oh, oh, hmm. I kind of want Deku's mask. I want Deku's mask, but I also want like Bakugo's little cannon thing. I don't know. It is what it is. But anyways, that is the new story, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the Smash That video. If you guys did, hit the like button down below to show you support in the comment section below. Do you play Smash That? What is your best unit? Uh, are you enjoying Smash That? Do you wish there was a global release? Let me know again in the comment section below. Check out the Reddit. Check out the Discord in the video descriptions below. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.